do playing around here. Hello, people. Good morning. <laughs> Another beautiful day. Yeah. Okay, five cents is work. Health and strength is good or excellent. What? What's up, uh, Splinter Cell fans? What's happening? Yeah. Oh, I got some news for you. But before we even talk about that, for, for all you Metal Gear fans, let me ask you this. After 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 Konami made uh, Metal Gear uh, Reverence, right? And and it didn't do so good. Would you trust Konami with Metal Gear uh, Three uh, remake? Would you? You do know that uh, Kojima Productions is behind Metal Gear uh, Three uh, Snake Eater remake, right? You do know that, right? Okay. Go back and look at the PlayStation uh, presentation when Kojima came out and they start talking. Look at that look at that little uh, clip from the time the uh, producer at Sony start talking and they do, they did that little handshake and they're smiling and giggling. Kojima production is behind Metal Gear 3 uh, uh, remake, okay? They just didn't want to say anything. But anyway, now for you Splinter Cell fans, you do know that there's a Splinter Cell, Splinter Cell uh, remake, right? Yeah. So, I just did a video on the um, new optical disc that they have now. It's 125 terabytes. So, with, the, with these storage space on, these, on the CDs now, that big, you do know that you can expand on the environments of the games that you already played, right? Look at uh, Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake. Just saying. So... With uh, Splinter with uh, Splinter Cell remake, yeah, this this the same the same go, the same thing goes. Listen to this. It says here, uh, OG, OG OG gamers rejoice. Splinter Cell remake is in development. It says here, Splinter Cell is a popular game franchise that started in 2002. Okay, it says here the stealth action adventure video game franchise got a lot of love from gamers however it has been dead for a long time now <laughs> the last game in the franchise came back in 2013 and after that there was no title release however now the OG gamers are in for a treat as the franchise is getting revived yeah it says here it's it was earlier revealed by Ubisoft that the Splinter Cell remake was in development in December 2021 however there was no release date or any other information that would what that would feed our hunger and then it says now a new report has arrived from insider gaming suggests that the release year for the game according to report Splinter Cell remake will be targeted to launch in 2025 slash 2026 and then it says uh, this is a particularly long time when considering that the game has been in the making since 2021, it means the developers spent almost half a decade making this game. Hence, we only expect a top-notch re revival of Splinter Cell. Finally, we also know that developer will be using the proprietary Snowdrop engine. Hence, everything will be made from scratch and the Splinter Cell remake, hopefully, would be justice to the original game. By the way, we still have one to two years before we see the game. Until then, you can read the original Tom Clancy uh, Splinter Cell, which will surely excite you with Sam Fisher Adventure. All right, that's the end of the article. So, a Splinter Cell remake in 2025-2026. Okay, well. With, with the tech, with the, with the software that they have now, and the game engines that they have now, and the oh God, God, hardware and PCs and consoles that they have now, yeah, and with the storage disk now going up to 125 in, uh, in storage now, um, that means the environments they can be expanded on, you know, so, yeah, a remake of uh, Splinter Cell. It's needed because remember when that game came out on the original what original Xbox and uh, PS2 uh, GameCube yeah there was a Splinter Cell Splinter Cell uh, was it Pandora uh, was it was it was it a uh, Chaos Theory uh, Double Agent 
you know, all, all those games. Um, you know, those, those were years, that, that was like some some years ago. So now, um, a remake for, um, to revisit that game and improve on the environments that, uh, that couldn't, that couldn't be explored, that couldn't be explored because of the limitations of the hardware. Those days are gone now, so, um, the game should be much better, you know? And, um, they've, they've announced this game since 2021, so, it's not a, it takes time, you know, to make, to, uh, revisit games like that and then open and open in the environment, making it more, uh, open world, so to speak. Yeah. It takes time, so, yeah, uh, the game industry move on, so, ever since, you know, since, what, Final Fantasy VII Remake, um, developers are seeing that, oh, okay, we can, re we can, we can revisit some of these games and, um, you know, open, open the environment up a little bit more and improve on it, and that's what you're seeing, so, you got Metal Gear 3 Remake, Snake Eater, and now Splinter Cell, you know, so, of course, there's Final Fantasy VII, uh, the second version of part, second version of a uh, uh, seven remake is out now. So yeah, <laughs> um, game video, gaming is good, man. So base look based on what you'll see with Final Fantasy seven, uh, uh, the remake uh, part two, you'll know that a lot of games that you played on earlier consoles, uh, they can be um, improved upon. You know, say for instance, like. Uh, um, even a Castlevania, just saying, a remake of Symphony of the Night, just saying. But speaking of Splinter Cell now, I mean, if you look at the original Xbox and the PS2, and even and even uh, the GameCube, the hardware it was limited. So now, with the Series X, PS5, and PC, you can expand on, and with these graphics cards that they have now, you and plus the um, Ray tracing, teraflops, XCSS, DLSS, frame generation, all that. You can improve. You, you can um. You can improve on those environments. So, yeah. Um, you know, those games. Those games need a um. <laughs> what you call it? Uh, need a need a refresh. So, fans of Splin Splinter Cell <laughs> should look forward to that. You know, oh, oh, um, in 2025, 2026. So, yeah. Video game industry moves on. You know, what 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 the announcer said? Uh, one what he said? One slip up, and it's mission over. <laughs> and he, he was like, and if he's not in his car, then do it. <laughs> yeah. So um, the game the game is gonna the game is gonna be good now. Man. Um, a lot of games that we played in the past, you know, could um, could could could. Um, um, need, needs a refresh, you know, um, um, you know, improve on those environments, you know, and I bring out the, the details in the background and everything, you know, because when they, when they first came out, they, uh, they, uh, the, the hardware was limited, but now with the hardware that we have now, oh yeah, <laughs> so yeah, um, Splinter Cell, man. You fans should look forward to that. 2025, 2026. So start saving your money. <laughs> you know, start saving your money. And, um, and plus, you know, um, Sony, Microsoft, um, they got they got new hardware that's coming too. You know, so um, you know, put your money together for that. Valve, yeah. The video game industry is good, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's in a good spot right now. Because a lot of the games that we played earlier on, you know, the hardware was limited, so we had to use what we have. But now it's time to expand upon those environments. So, yeah. Anyway. Oh, by the way, too, um, Ubisoft supposed to be working on um, working on uh, um, a beyond a beyond good and evil too. You know, so whenever that game drops. Or any announcement on that comes out, I'll let you know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a star, wasn't starting to play. Or Dark Side.